Hi guys, Peter Finch here down the Quest Golf Academy and today we are going to be doing some ball testing. But not just any ball testing. I'm going to start testing Gorilla Ball manufacturers. Now how I define Gorilla Ball manufacturers are manufacturers who haven't been in the industry that long. They're not attached to a real major, major supplier such as a Titleist for example. These are people who are trying to break a few molds and a few conventions. And the first ball that I'm going to be testing is a Weiss ball. Now Weiss are based in Germany. They've been around for a few years now, certainly gaining some traction with online ball purchases. Purchases. And basically, I got a pack through of different Vice balls, but the one we're going to be testing today is the Vice Pro Plus. Now with the Vice Balls, could have tested quite a few, but the Pro Plus is the top ball in their line. So it's a four-piece ball with a cast urethane cover. It's highly durable 336 dimple pattern, uh, dual casting for extra distance and lower flight, and then it's optimized for extraordinary distance, excellent green grabbing control, and lower launch and lower spin for longer drives. Well, that is what the website says anyway, but shouldn't just trust the gump on the website. I've got to test these balls out and actually see how they perform. Now, how I'm going to be testing these balls out is I've set up on the GC quad with the Foresight software targets at 50 yards, 75 yards, 100 yards, 150, 200, and then driving. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing these balls against the Pro V1, so the current leader in the premium ball market and really one of the undisputed greatest balls on the market but also of all time you know it really did redefine what a tour performance ball was so i'm going to be testing these balls against the pro v1 so you can't really get much better competition so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the simulator down so i've only got a select number of these balls to use i'm also going to be doing a little bit of stuff on course as well but this is just the data driven testing so just the numbers to really dig down into how this ball performs right let's get whacking away with the Vice Pro Plus. So the Vice Pro Plus, four piece ball. Now, four pieces, four piece balls, pretty advanced construction. You'll find most of the top balls on the market around three pieces, possibly four pieces. You've got the TP5, which is obviously a five piece ball as well. So to get in a four piece ball from a smaller manufacturer, that is pretty impressive. Now, it just depends how it performs. So the first target we've got is 50 yards. I won't talk through all the shots, um, but I'm just gonna hit a, shot, a few, just to chat through about how it feels and how it looks as well. Maybe some of the concerns we may have about it. So with the vice ball, the one thing that um, people have mentioned certainly when playing is about how it discolors a little bit. Um, but apparently that is being improved upon. The feel of these balls as well is pretty soft. There's no doubt about it. And this 50 yard shot, it certainly feels very, very soft off the club face when it's struck. I'm hitting into a simulator here because don't have that many balls to actually lose. That was a nice one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm only going to record in the three shots, but I'm going to be taking out the ones which are the most inconsistent. So I may hit three or four with each one until I feel I've got the most consistent reading on there. Obviously, it's not far, fair taking an average if I do manage to hit one right out the bottom of a golf club. So we will reconvene afterwards. Oh, that felt good when I've hit all these shots away. So all those shots hit away with the Vice Pro Plus, and I have to say, I was very impressed overall with the data, with the numbers that it was showing, and the feel that it was presenting at the point of impact as well. I've used Vice Balls before, but I've not used this one before, and it's the first time I've actually done it as far as the data-driven testing is going. So what we'll do is we'll go through those different distances and just see what the results were. Now we're gonna start off with the 50 yards here, and as soon as I started hitting the Vice, it felt super soft, like really, really, really soft, but it didn't feel overly solid is probably the best way of describing it. It almost felt 
a little bit light when it came off the club face. However, the results that it was showing were absolutely immaculate. I mean, you can see here the differences between the ball speeds, the launch angles. It launched a little bit higher overall than the Pro V1. Spin rate's pretty much identical, really. There's no difference there at all. Uh, as far as the carry distance and the total distance as well, the Pro V1 just went that little bit further on average of the shots that I hit, but that could be to do with a little bit of that launch angle as well, maybe just chased on a touch further when it pitched. But between them on this 50-yard area, there's really nothing to split them at all. Now we go up to the slightly longer wedge shots. And for the wedges, I was hitting a 56 degree wedge for all of these shots. So it's gone from a very short chip slash pitch to a medium pitch to a full wedge as well, just to get the real context of what you'd be doing within this wedge game. And I have to say again, for the 75 yard shots, the Pro V and the Vice Pro, plus really no difference at all. So ball speed, pretty much identical, only a very small amount in there. Launch angles, very similar this time as well. Spin rates on the backspin side, just pretty much identical. Side spin, side spin, well, the axis of the spin, 1.3 as well, so exactly the same. Carry, pretty much exactly the same. Total distance, exactly the same. Nothing to split them over that distance, nothing at all. Pretty much an identical replica of each other. Jump up onto the 100 yard shots here. You can see some slight differences in ball speed. Again, the Vice Pro launching a little bit higher. So something that we saw within the 50 degrees as well. Um, 50 yard shot as well. And this is something that we may see as we go on, but we'll have to wait and see. Spin race to Pro V over 100 yards, a little bit higher. So just 200 revs more, a little bit higher, but again, not much to actually break them. And then carry distance and total distance, Pro V slightly up. But over this type of distance, the 50 to 75 yards and the 100, distance control is key. Control is key, not so much how far you hit it. It's not a, a show of brute strength with the short game. So again, over these distances, some striking similarities between the two. So now we go on to the fuller shots. And what I did here is hit a 9-iron for the 150 yards target, a 4-iron for the 200 yard target, and then a driver. Now I hit more shots in ratio as far as a short game is concerned, just because that's the majority of where people spend their times in and around the green chipping and pitching. But this gives us a good context of what they're doing on the full shots. And I have to say, again, some real similarities, but there are a couple of differences that we do also need to have a look at. So ball speed off the vice, with the short iron actually was a little bit higher. So it came off four miles an hour on average faster with the 9.9 than the Pro V. Launch very similar, backspin a little bit more with the Vice as well, so about 300 revs more. And then carry distance more again with that Vice, as you'd expect if it's leaving the club face that little bit quicker. As far as the club head data goes, again, very similar on average. So it was just the case that on that shorter iron, that ball took off quicker with the vice. It reevaluated itself and kind of came back a little bit more together with the Pro V when it got to that 200 yards. So 128 with the vice, 129 with the Pro V. Launch angle again, very similar. So the only differences I've really seen in the launch angle with the Vice is that generally, with most clubs, it went a little bit higher, but that will change with the driver. Uh, backspin, again, very similar, only 200 revs in there. And then the carry distances and the total distance is very similar. So between the iron shots and the wedge shots with the Vice, apart from launching that a little bit higher, I mean, the differences haven't been really that drastic. The only difference I'd say with the wedges and the iron shots is that the Pro V felt a little bit more solid. It felt a little bit more controllable if you were to get it out in the elements. Now, obviously with the data testing that we've done here on the GC and the GC quad and with the Foresight software, we're not out on the course. So we can't see the ball flight, how it reacts in the wind and how, how it relaxes out of different lies. But that is something I will be doing moving forward. You can see with the driver, ball speed's very similar, drops slightly with the uh, vice, launch angle a little bit higher with the vice, but the spin is more with the vice plus pro. Now this is something that in my own game that I do need to watch out for, certainly with the driver to try and keep that spin rate down. And the Pro V1 certainly was better for me in that regard. Carry distance 280, total distance that a little bit more with the Pro V because of that little bit of a lack of spin. But again, we're only talking three yards. So data-wise, the Vice, super, super impressive. Very happy with what I've seen there. Also, a few other things about this. The packaging that this came in, really cool. Really, really, really cool. I mean, the box, if I was to award box points, this is a straight up nine and two quarters out of 10. 
Nine and two quarters, is that a thing? Well, it is now. Um, and this is almost like a bit of a selection pack uh, of vice balls I got through. So there's lots of different ones within the range. Now, what I've done with all these Gorilla Ball testing is I've not looked purposely at the price because I don't want price to be an influence in what I'm talking about. The fact is that this Vice Pro has performed exceptionally similar to the Pro V. Now, if I was to look on the website, which I've not done, if I was to look on the website at the price and all of a sudden see that the Vice Pro is on a 20 quid less a dozen, I'd be like, hello, let's go. Let's get quids in on this bad boy. But I haven't looked, so I don't know. Because what I want you guys to do is I want you to experiment. I want you to have a look around at these things. So by all means, check the website out. See how much they're charging. See if on a value percentage you think it's worth it when compared to the Pro V1. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you found it illuminating on some of the other balls that are out there on the market. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of these moving forward. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it around. Check me out on my other social media as well, which is all linked down in the description below. And we'll see you down here next time.